Imagine if you could clone your brain and outsource all of the tedious tasks that you currently waste your time doing to AI. Well, until a few days ago, that wasn't possible, but a brand new tool just got released and I just found it that lets you tell it in plain English exactly what you want to automate and it goes through, builds out the AI automation, connects to all the different APIs, and almost instantly allows you to automate and outsource your work. No coding, no headaches, just you telling it in plain English exactly what you want automated and it going off and actually doing it for you. Now that new tool and feature I'm talking about is going to be Deep Agent because they just got a massive upgrade where you could see AI workflows right here. And essentially what you do now is you literally just come over here. I'm gonna walk you through this in just a second and tell it, I wanna create an AI workflow and it literally does all of the work for you. It connects to MCPs, it connects to APIs, it builds out the workflow, all the different nodes, it even checks and makes sure everything is done correctly, and boom, you could begin to outsource your work to AI in seconds. Check this out right here. I came over here and I'm gonna walk you through a, literally exactly what I did here. I mean, look at how much code this actually built out in order to do this. If we come over here, we could see that literally all you have to do is do what I did right here. I said, create an AI workflow. It says, I would be happy to create an AI workflow to get started. I need help understanding exactly what you want to accomplish. So one, what is the main purpose or goal of this AI workflow? Two, what type of inputs will the workflow receive? What should the workflow output or deliver? and you can see that it gives you examples at all different steps of the way here. And then are there any specific steps or processes you want included in the workflow? Feel free to answer one or more questions or just ask me to choose the appropriate answers and move forward. So what I did here, I said, step one, I want it to scrape this website and create posts based on all the updates from the last 24 hours. Two, the workflow will receive the website that it should scrape. Three, the output should be a summarization of the news articles from the last 24 hours with the update actionable insights and use cases. And then I said, here are the specific steps. And I literally walked through exactly what this should do step by step. And you need to make sure that you're very specific with this because this will completely change the type of workflow that you actually get outputted, which we can see over here. And again, this required no coding. This required no knowledge of AI agents. This required no knowledge of AI workflows, literally just me coming through and describing exactly what I want done. Now, we could see that this goes through, it actually defines it right here, it begins to code out a bunch of stuff, and the amount of code that this actually outputted is absolutely insane. I could scroll here probably for a few minutes and just keep scrolling down and down and down, and we could see everything that this actually went through and this created, but I don't wanna waste your time, so let's come down here and we could see what it actually did. Okay, so it says, perfect, I've successfully created the AI workflow, and I named it Test and Catalog Daily Scraper. So it says this workflow has been created with the following specifications. We see that it has a website scraper, which we could see right here. It has a content fetcher, which we can see right here. It has a post analyzer, which we can see right here. It has a report generator that we can see right here. It goes through all of its different key features, goes through its technical details right here, and then it actually goes through and deploys this workflow right here. And we can see that this is done, and I can now access it from right here, and then gives me a summary of exactly what this can do. So it says that it has four workflows. Scrape, scrapes the website for recent blog posts. Two, fetches the full content of each discovered post. Three, analyzes each post in order to extract summaries, key updates, actionable insights, and use cases. Four, generates a comprehensive final report combining all of these different things. And this is the craziest part about this. This right here only used 200 credits to create. That is almost like no credits. That's absolutely insane and really just proves that the Deep Agent team keeps getting better and better and better and better. They are literally pushing out updates every single week. Now, if we come over here, we could zoom in if we wanted to and we could see all these different nodes, but guess what? It doesn't even matter what these nodes do. All I care about is whether or not they actually work. So what I did was I came over here and I clicked on use AI workflow and then we can actually see this in action right here. So I put in here the URL of the website that I wanted to scrape for a blog post. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up right here so that you can actually see this. This is a website that updates you on the latest AI news, and we can see that they literally publish about a bunch of different things. Now,
if we come over here, we could see that this went through and this found 21 different blog posts. It went through and actually got all of those URL. It fetched all of them. It then found all the different posts with content. It went through and it analyzed them. And if we scroll all the way down here and look at this, this is insane. This literally went through dozens of blog posts fetched dozens of blog posts and I did zero work here and if we scroll all the way down we'll be able to see what the actual output is which is exactly what I wanted total posts analyzed 10 so we have one we have a summary key updates we have actionable insights we have use cases two we have the summary key updates actionable insights use cases three we have the summary key updates actionable insights use cases and this did this for all of these different posts. And this is incredibly useful for me because otherwise I would have to go through and do this. But now all I have to do every day is literally just come over here, put in the URL, I get all the information, and then I can disperse that in a newsletter, I can make content about it, and I have all these AI updates literally without doing any work and just assigning this to deep agent. And another thing that I could do is come over here and create a task for this to do this automatically and email me with the results or Slack me the results. Or I could build this out even deeper to actually get this to post this to where I wanna post it for me. Now, before I show you those five other crazy use cases, I wanted to remind you that you could go to the pin comment below and get started with Deep Agent today for only $10. And it's an absolute no brainer because not only are you going to be able to outsource your work to AI once you start using this tool, you're also going to get access to every single LLM with their chat LLM feature. And they even give you access to Grok 4, which literally just came out. It allows you to build AI chatbots, build websites. You could even create viral social media content and so much more. So what are you waiting for? Don't get left behind with AI and go to the pinned comment below and try Deep Agent today for only $10 a month. Now, the first use case I wanted to show off here is getting this to build an AI agent that reads product names or SKUs from a CSV and then automatically creating Shopify listings in a Shopify store with these things and then also filling in the missing details like images, descriptions, categories, prices from the web and all of that. So essentially what this is doing is automating somebody going through and updating a Shopify store, which right now might be something that you have somebody on your team or maybe you are doing this manually. And I don't want you to think about this only for Shopify. Think about this for anything. This just shows off that you could build this with Shopify or with any other website tool or anything else that you need to update. So since this is with Shopify, you actually have to go through and you have to give this authorization details here. You're going to have to give it the Shopify store URL, Shopify access for API authentication, and whatever else this might need. The example that I showed you in the first half of this video didn't need this, but for some other things, you will have to give it authorization details or whatever access it needs in order to link all these different tools together. But now from here, this literally just goes through, it creates everything, created all these nodes like I showed you in the first module, and we could see this actually works here. Now we're able to upload CSV files, and we could see that all these things were actually added to the Shopify store, and it even went and filled out all these different things. And this is insane, because again, we are getting this to automate a bunch of different work that otherwise would have been manual, and it's doing it on Shopify. It's literally taking action inside of apps without you having to do it yourself. Now, use case number two is going to be getting this to make a stock trend analyzer agent that monitors specific stocks and then fetches specific things. And again, think about this. This doesn't just have to monitor stocks. It can literally monitor anything that you want it to. And again, you're just going to give it this really good prompt right here. You're going to outline exactly what it needs to do. And then this tool goes through and does the rest. As you can see, again, we had to provide an API key here, but then it goes through, it builds out the node and look at how detailed this is. This would have taken probably days to do, but AI does it incredibly quickly. And now we could just come over here, we could start this and boom, we could stock analysis sent straight to your email. Again, I want you to think about all the different moving parts that actually went into this. One, you had to have this go fetch stock data. Two, you had to have it analyze it. Three, you had to have it have an opinion and an output, and then it was able to send it to you in Gmail. Now, again, 
Think about the power of this. You could use this to help yourself. You could use this and create a product from it. You could use this and help your team, or you could productize whatever it is that you get this thing to do, and it can literally email it to the list of people that have bought your product. Or you could host it on a website somewhere because we just saw it update Shopify and actually sell a product with AI doing all of the work. Now use case number three is using this to create an AI agent that analyzes all videos on a YouTube channel in order to surface the top performing videos with metrics like views, likes, comments, sentiment, and then also extract those video ideas, the key storyline, and the formats into a downloadable CSV. Again, we literally just tell it to do this, we give it the API information, and now this went through and actually created this, where we could just go, we could upload a YouTube channel here. For example, this one right here, it goes and fetches all of its information, it's literally going through 210 videos right here, and it spit out all of this key information that we can now use in order to optimize your YouTube channel. And if you wanted to, you could take this one step further and build it out for something else. Let's say that you don't have YouTube channels that you wanna analyze. Maybe you wanna build out keyword research. And again, I don't want you to just think about this for YouTube channels. Think about this for everything. You could do this for Amazon stores. You could do this for Walmart listings. You could do this for SEO. You could do this for ranking things on LOMs. Anything that requires any type of analysis, whether it be keywords, on another platform, anything like that, you could build out an agent or a workflow that could do it like how we updated this one in order to just enter a topic or a keyword and then it's going to give us all of the research from that. And again, it's literally using the API in order to do this. So as we can see here, this went through, built an analysis, and it tells us all the different viral YouTube titles, gives us a URL, gives us a video idea. It tells us what the title length is and literally goes through and analyzes all the successful videos for these search terms so that we can take those things, implement it into our channel or anything else that you want like SEO or optimizing a website or conversion rate optimization or anything like that. And boom, it went through and did all of this in seconds. Now this brings me to the final use case that I have here, which is to create an AI agent that acts as an FAQ assistant for any given subreddit using the Reddit API. So when a user provides a question and a subreddit name, the agent should search Reddit posts and comments within that subreddit to find the most relevant discussions, extract the top community voted answers, and generate a concise summary. So again, we are now building a product. We are building an agent. We are building a workflow on top of information that already exists out there on the internet. You literally just tell Deep Agent to do this, then you give it these APIs, it goes through, it creates this exact workflow out, and boom, now all you have to do is click on it or give somebody access to it. You could type things in here, and this literally goes through and then crowdsources the best information and summarizations on this, and even gives you the sources for it. And then you could export this as a PDF if you wanted to, or have it in any other format that you want. Now, if you like this video, I'd strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through another AI tool that allows you to start making money with AI very quickly. I'll see you over there.